Hi, I'm Knut. I'm a developer advocate at Sanity.io and in this video I will be showing you how to create initial value templates. And this is great if you want to give your editor some choice in what values should be pre-configured when I create a new document. So before we can start to implement these templates, you have to create the file where we can define them. And to do that, you go into sanity.json and in this file, you will find this parts array. And in this parts array, you add this configuration where you have the name, it's part at sanity base initial value templates and the path is to the file where you will be defining these templates. So in my case, it's initialvalues.js on the root folder. So I have prepared this file here. And uh, before we can start defining the templates, we need the template builder. So let's import that. Import t from sanity base initial value template builder. So we had some auto completion here, but um, you can also find this in the documentation. So this file should export an array with the templates. So export default an array. Uh, and we want to include the like the default templates if there are any. Uh, and since we are in the array, we have to spread them out. So they are under T defaults like this. And now we can save and the studio should like be just as it was like with the same document types here. And we are ready to start uh, adding templates. So let's do that. We start by typing T template. And it takes an object with the configuration. So we need an ID and this is for the URL state. So now we, we just want to make a simple template for adding um, project, uh, featured project projects. That means that the featured Boolean is uh, true. We need a schema type and this is for project. Uh, we need the values. And in this case, it's featured true. And this value Property works the same way as in the schemas. So whatever you did there, you can do here as well. Let's try and save this and see what happens. Yeah, so now we got this new item here with featured and project. And if we press it, we will see that the initial value has kicked off. Now we can create another one. We can just copy this. And let's say that we wanted something with date or something. Current date. And we can say published at new date to, to ISO string. And remember, since we are running a function here, we have to export a function as well. Like this. And we should be able to save. And we can take a look here that we had. We have a new item with current date. And now the featured project is nil, but we have the current date here. So you probably get the gist of this. Now, these boxes um, look kind of generic. So it would be cool to have this icon here. and. If you have an icon on the schema type, that will also propagate to here. But if you want to override that, you can also add icons to this configuration. So let's try that. Let's go with this icon. And the icon takes a React component. And just to make it easy, let's just add an emoji. But we have to import React in order to have JSX support. Uh, a React component is just a function or, or, or class that um, returns something. So let's return a calendar like this. Let's see if this works. Yeah, so here we can see the emoji 
uh, rendered. And here we can, for example, add a star. There we have it. So it makes it a bit more appealing. Of course, if you want to use something like React icons or something else, you can also import those and, and use those too. I am Knut, thanks for watching and see you in cyberspace.